International law, international law, international law. International law has three fragments. International law has three fragments. And that also has an element of Marxism theory and the modernization theory that is the yeah, under. Sir. How are you, sir? The person that sent you did not warn you, did not make you a current, did not make you abreast of my nomenclature, nom de plume, or pseudonym, or in simpler terms, the appellations that go with my academic stamina, status, and stance. That is to say, the person that sent you did not tell you of how to address me. I'm sorry, sir, you didn't. You didn't. Yes. Well, with that said, let me put it before your medulla chamber that uh, I am Dr. Professor Wanapsa, the moving dictionary, Munda Walala, PhD holder, Cambridge University, bachelor's degree holder, University of Zambia, master's degree holder, Cambridge University, and professorial University of Manchester. Currently, pursuing my second professorial Makerere University. Address me as Dr. Professor Vanapsa. Dr. Mr. Professor. Dr. Professor Vanapsa, not Mr. That is an insult to the educational faculty. The, all the systems that bestowed all those echelons onto my morphology as an academician. May you lower that morphology onto that like liner. That is to say, may you sit down. Oh, thank you, sir. Cool. Now, what brings you to my rendezvous at this epoch of time? Or what do I owe this chunky visit by a non-entity like you? That is to say, what brings you here? Oh, well, uh, the president has sent me to tell you that you want to see you. The president wants to see me? Yes, sir. That on its own is uh, a panorama and an epitome of an insult to my intelligence because that breaks the king's language. The correct one has to be the president would want to see you or the president would like to see you because want on its own is a command and you not get me on the peril of decree. Are you getting me? Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Yes. And in what capacity are you coming to me? That is to say, who are you? Why has the president sent you? Uh, I'm Richard, okay. and I'm um, from the office of the president. Oh, you're from the OP? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That is a very good fragment of government, anyway. Uh, that also causes that you have a bit of militia mind, isn't it? That is to say, you need to have a bit of intelligentsia in, in you, isn't it? Yes, sir. Cool. So, the president would want to see me. Yes, sir. I've told the president time without number that I'm living in incommunicado or in incognito. That is to say, I am not moving away from my rendezvous place of abode, or in simpler terms, home is stayed for some reasons. And the president is very well abreast and current with that. But he keeps pushing people to come and pursue me to his rendezvous, of which I completely deny, I refuse, I extirpate or such motions. The president is quite aware that I have denied to see him because he is trying to belittle or to demean or to deem at me as a Lilliputian, minuscule, teeny, weeny, itty bitty or an incy wincy homo sapient. President Akainde Ichilema knows my wits very well but he's trying to act as if he doesn't know that I've been bestowed with all high education echelons all the academic uh, names that I've acquired over the years. I've told President Akainde Chilema that it's either he sends me on a mission to the United Kingdom or not. But the President keeps insisting of wanting to send the most educated African across sub-Saharan African countries to DRC. What an academic insult. That is an insult to the University of Cambridge the management of Oxford, the management of the University of Zambia, all the schools that I've, I, I walked through time and again, walking through the four walls of the University of Zambia without a torchlight. That is a very big insult. Tell the president that it's either UK or I don't go anywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying?
So if whether you're from the OP or the PO, let me put it before your medulla chambers that move against the law of locomotion and gravity. Janket unto the ordinary portals of this geography in a liquid split, chop chop way and manner, skedado and skidu move in a brisky and nimble way. Go and tell the president that Professor Vanap Samunda Walala DC is not going anywhere. People that are unqualified, like Chibamba Kanyama, for example, people that are not on the same education echelon with Professor Vanapsa, the only Zambian to have ever dined and wined with the late Queen of England, are going to presses like UK, very healthy, well made, gregarious, and bad, bad environment. Then the president wants to send me to Congo. When you look at all the whole entire UPND cabinet, there's nobody who is matching my echelon. You talk of Malambo Haimbe, he doesn't have the PhD that I have. You talk of Jack Mwimbu, he doesn't have the PhD that I have. You talk of uh, all the, 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 those the charlatans in the, in the cabinet, they can't match my wits. Then the president is adamant on sending me to Congo. Tell him Professor Vanapsa is either going to UK or not. Vamos, my friend. That is to say, Ambapo. Thank you, sir. You don't disturb my timpenium at this epoch of time. Untutored fox, unnatured charlatan. I have told President Daka in the I'm the most educated African on this enclave. I deserve a bit of respect. The panache, the paraphernalia, the demeanor that exudes out of the morphology of this uh, homo sapient is on a different echelon. Therefore, the president ought to put a bit of respect to my name. I've walked through the four walls of Cambridge University, Harvard, and the University of Zambia without a torchlight. I've, I've been through thin and thick just to acquire this knowledge that I have. Then just to be insulted in such a manner. DRC, Professor Wanapsa, why? <laughs> wow, Munda Walala. Concrete body. When I call one, they come with dozen. They think I'm a bottle of stolo. What is time? No, When I am still there, here to the throne. Kasisika kumupando. Boko siya mukua. Ikundibo na kubadala. Juu sana ma konkola blades. Wari anganga. Ndiye wari anguku. Ndi memu mina gunona. Iku hala jaka ndari la mkumbakuri ya the eating pig.